ChatGPT 5.2 just dropped. Google fired back with Gemini 3. OpenAI called a code red. Google put AI in every product they own. This is the biggest AI battle we've ever seen. And I tested both to see which one actually wins. Let's start with the big question everyone's asking. Which AI is actually better? Here's the truth. It depends on what you need. But I'm going to break down exactly when to use each one so you never waste time on the wrong tool again. ChatGPT 5.2 just launched and it's a direct response to Google. OpenAI literally declared a code red. That's how serious the competition got. They had to move fast. They had to match Gemini's power and they did something smart. They gave us three versions, instant for quick stuff, thinking for deeper work and pro for the complex problems that need serious brain power. This isn't just one model anymore. It's a whole system built for different types of work. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Now, here's what makes ChatGPT 5.2 different. But the reasoning got way better. We're talking about better problem solving, better coding, better data analysis. Everything that requires deep thinking got an upgrade. And the long context handling is insane now. You can throw entire documents at it, and it actually understands everything, not just the first few pages, the whole thing. But here's where it gets interesting. ChatGPT 5.2 handles tool use way better now. What does that mean? It means you can have it work with spreadsheets, create presentations, manage complex workflows. It's not just answering questions anymore. It's doing actual work for you, the kind of work that used to take hours. And the safety improvements are real. OpenAI learned from all the weird outputs people were getting before. Now it's more reliable, more consistent, less likely to give you something completely off the wall. Well, that matters when you're using this for real business stuff. So that's ChatGPT 5.2. But what about Gemini 3? Google came in swinging hard, really hard. And they did something OpenAI can't match. They put Gemini everywhere. It's in search. It's in Gmail. It's in Chrome. It's in Maps. Every Google product you use has Gemini built right in. That's a massive advantage. Gemini 3 is truly multimodal, not just text, not just images. We're talking text, images, audio, and video. It can generate videos through their VO model. It can understand audio. It processes everything at once. That's the real power here. One AI that handles every type of content you throw at it. And Google added something called deep think mode. This is for the power users, the people who need advanced reasoning and multi-step problem solving. It's similar to chat GPT's thinking mode, but it's built into the Google ecosystem. So if you're already using Google Workspace, it just works with everything you do. The visual features got crazy good too. Gemini can help you shop. It can organize your inbox. It can give you dynamic visual outputs. It's not just answering questions. It's actively helping you get stuff done in your daily life. And because it's connected to Google search, it always has the most current information. That's huge. And if you're finding this valuable, you need to check out the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where I show you exactly how to use tools like ChatGPT 5.2 and Google Gemini 3 to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. These AI models can transform how you work, but only if you know the right strategies and workflows to implement them effectively. Link is in the description. Now, let me show you the real differences. I tested both with the same prompts, real world stuff you'd actually use, and the results were eye-opening. First test was planning a week. I asked both to create a balanced routine with a work hours, fitness, meals, study time, and social time. Had to be realistic, not some perfect schedule nobody could follow. ChatGPT 5.2 gave me a super structured plan. Everything was organized perfectly. Time blocks were precise. The logic was solid. It thought through every detail. But here's the thing. It felt a bit robotic, like a productivity machine made it. Still useful though. Gemini 3 gave me something different, more flexible, more human. It understood that life isn't perfectly scheduled. It left buffer time. It suggested using Google Calendar to sync everything. It even pulled in some real world suggestions based on current trends. That integration with Google products showed up immediately. Second test was a meal planner. Create a healthy weekly meal plan for a family of four. Breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks. Had to be realistic and organized. This is where things got interesting. Really interesting. Chat GPT 5.2 nailed the structure. Beautiful meal plan. Everything was organized by day. Nutritionally balanced. Variety across the week portions made sense. Still incredibly useful for planning though. Gemini 3 went deeper. It gave me meal suggestions that felt more practical and it connected to Google services to help with recipe ideas and cooking times. That real world integration came through again. For daily life stuff, Gemini has an edge. 
Third test was coding. I asked both to build a simple to-do list app, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, had to save tasks in local storage, had to be clean and functional. This is where ChatGPT 5.2 destroyed it, absolutely destroyed it. The code was perfect, clean structure, good comments. Everything worked on the first try. No bugs, no weird quirks, just solid professional code. This is what ChatGPT was built for, deep work, technical stuff, complex problem solving. Gemini 3 gave me working code too, but it wasn't as clean. The structure was a bit messier. It would work for a beginner. But if you're doing serious development work, ChatGPT 5.2 is the clear winner, not even close. Fourth test was visual. I uploaded a messy desk photo, asked both to suggest a reorganization layout and create a visual sketch. This is where Gemini 3 flexed its multimodal muscles. It understood the image instantly, gave me spatial planning suggestions, even generated a simple layout sketch. The visual creativity was impressive. ChatGPT 5.2 could analyze the image too. It gave good suggestions, but the visual output wasn't as strong. Gemini is built for multimodal work from the ground up. When you need image understanding and visual creativity, Gemini wins. So here's what I learned. ChatGPT 5.2 is your deep work machine. You need complex reasoning, use ChatGPT. You need professional coding, use ChatGPT. You need long document analysis, use ChatGPT. You need structured thinking for business problems. Use ChatGPT. It's the productivity powerhouse for knowledge work. Google Gemini 3 is your daily life assistant. You need quick research with current info. Use Gemini. You need multimodal work with images and video. Use Gemini. You need something integrated with all your Google apps. Use Gemini. You need practical everyday help. Use Gemini. Here's my honest take. Don't pick one. Use both. I do. ChatGPT 5.2 for my agency work. Deep SEO strategy, content planning, technical problem solving, client presentations, anything that needs serious brain power, Gemini 3 for everything else, quick research, checking current trends, visual work, shopping, email organization, daily tasks, all the stuff that's easier when it's connected to Google. The real winner is you, because for the first time, we have two AI systems that are both incredible, different strengths, different use cases, but both legitimately powerful. Competition made both companies better. We get better tools. Everyone wins. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI. And if you're finding this valuable, you need to check out the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where I show you exactly how to use tools like ChatGPT 5.2 and Google Gemini 3 to scale your business, get more customers, and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. These AI models can transform how you work, but only if you know the right strategies and workflows to implement them effectively. Link is in the description, so comment below which one you're using. Team Chat GPT or Team Gemini. And if you found this video helpful, smash that like button and subscribe for more AI updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.